Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are in Houston, Texas today, visiting late model engines. I'm joined by co-owner Brian and Nealon. And between us here is a 440 cubic inch LT1, and it's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Brian, thanks so much for having us in here today. Definitely. Super pumped to have seen the shop and get a walk around of uh, everything you guys got going on. One of those things is this LT build here, and uh, we'd love to know a little bit more about sure. it. Sure. Yeah, we actually just dynoed this thing this morning, uh, took it off, and uh, yeah, results were, were excellent. So it's a 440 yeah. cubic inch LT1 based off of the new LTR block. Okay. Uh, so it is a 4185 bore with a four inch stroke, uh, 12 and a half to one compression. Customers gonna be running on the 85 as we were running on today. Okay. Um, turned right at 8,000 RPM with the engine. Uh, it is a low lash roller. It's a cam motion cam with Manton rockers, uh, pack valve springs and a little over seven, about 750 lift cam. Okay. Uh, low 250s at 50 uh, on the intake. So 250, 266 at 50 on a 113. Yeah. Uh, so not too crazy of a can. This customer is gonna be using this in a road race application uh, in a Camaro Okay. Uh, for our friends over at Vengeance Racing. So this thing's gonna be a badass car. Um, running our low profile intake manifold. Yeah. Uh, we had a 103 manifold on it. Um, has our VVT delete front cover. Uh, timing chain guide, basically all the pieces that you just saw being machined today. This has this has everything on it. Yeah, you got the cover here under the intake there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we're running our uh, CNC ported uh, CID uh, cylinder head castings. We're running a 2200 intake with a 1600 exhaust. Uh, real efficient port design that we have for it. Um, yeah, I mean it's a it's a great performer. You know, when you have 8,000 RPM, 750 horsepower, 600 foot pounds of torque, uh, this thing's gonna get after it. Pretty rowdy engine yeah. for sure. All right, so you mentioned uh, you know, the CID head and some of the valve train components. How about um, you know, inside the LTR block, what kind of you know, rotating yep, assembly? Yeah, in the bottom we've got Cali's crank and rods, uh, diamond pistons. Uh, it's a custom piston that we've uh, put into our uh, private label uh, part number mm -hmm. selection. So this is a part number that we keep on the shelf. It's uh, again, 4185 bore, giving us 12 to one compression with the 64 cc chamber. Yeah. Um, yeah, lateral, lateral gas ports. It's based off their uh, 2K forging. Okay. So it's just a really nice, really nice part that uh, you know, high-end piston that's great for this application. Yeah. And then uh, now this particular one is on a is a wet sump oiling system. This is a wet sump wet sump setup. Um, like I said, going into a Camaro, and uh, we'll see we'll see how it performs. Yeah. Now, what can guys change about this particular? platform you know can they obviously they can go to a dry sump if needed they can add some boost if needed right so yeah the customer very well may progress into an external dry sump system mm -hmm. to get rid of the, you know the factory style pump um, but yeah this this setup we can configure in a multitude of ways we can run a factory LT you know factory LT1 or LT4 dry mm -hmm. sump system uh, we have a few different options for dry sump um, we're actually working uh, to on a development of an oil pan right now to, to run some different pumps, so okay. that's something that we're going to have in the future. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, this block uh, primarily we use for boosted applications, but this customer is looking to go the extra mile and is naturally aspirated setup, so yeah. um, you know, primarily the majority of these that we've been building is our 1400 and 2000 horsepower, uh, either 427 or 400 cubic inch yeah. uh, combos. and. You know, just take advantage of the six bolt per cylinder, the billet caps, priority main oiling. This block is right. pretty sweet for all that. Yeah, yeah, it's ready to go. Very cool. Brian, any aspect of this particular build that we're leaving out, or just anything else that you want to mention? You know, is there a favorite aspect that you have of, of this build? Um, really, really the RPM. I mean, I love yeah. the 440 combo. You know, yeah. the, the big board. And, Relatively large stroke, you know, four inch yeah. stroke. I mean, it just yeah. takes the the 427 to the next level. Uh, we opened up the chambers. We ran a specific uh, chamber design for to take advantage of the larger bore on this one. Um, you know, as engine builders, we love a naturally aspirated engine. We build, yeah. you know, everything is boosted these days, right? It seems right. Uh, majority of. So when we get to build naturally aspirated engines, it, it yeah. gives you a little bit more uh, 
ability to, to do everything you can to get the, the power out of it. So right, squeeze everything you can out of yeah, it, for yeah. sure. And this one's been great, man. It was screaming on the dyno, and it was good stuff. Awesome, awesome. Well, Brian, we appreciate you walking sure. us through it. Yeah. Guys, this has been a 440 cubic inch LT1 here at Late Model Engines. And uh, we appreciate you watching this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out everything that Brian and his team have going on here at LME. And as always, make sure you're checking out EngineBuilderMag.com for more engine content. Thanks for watching this episode, and we'll see you next time.